Hey everyone, Joe here from Different Fins. It's the middle of October, temperatures are dropping, but it was nice enough today to get out in the kayak. So I just finished a super fun day of fishing. Check it out. I'm just pushing off from the landing for what is likely my last day in the kayak in 2022. As you might be able to see, it's snowing right now. We're on the back half of October. It's not the end of my open water season. I'll probably get out shore fishing a couple times, but this will be my last day in the boat. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> I haven't even started fishing yet. And a bass grabbed my lure right beside the boat. Just a little guy. Oh, you can't escape these things. They're like a nuisance around here. So if you like bass fishing, come to Northwestern Ontario. Atacokan specifically. There. Fish on before I even started. fish on. I'm still at the landing. <laughs> what is this? I'm still at the landing. I haven't left yet. I got a walleye. Jeez. Look at that. Beautiful. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna keep this guy because I promised my wife's grandmother some walleye. She lives in the city. So here we go, there's the start. I put in right there. And I'm already catching fish. Walleye and a bass. Wow. You might notice I'm wearing my winter gear. It is just above the freezing point. And with a little bit of wind, and moisture, it could feel like winter. So, I'd rather be comfortable than cold. Yo, fish on. Oh. Caught me daydreaming. You may notice I'm wearing a blaze orange hat. Moose hunting season opens up today. And even though I'm in a boat in the middle of the lake, well, let's just say I have uh, very little faith in humanity or trust. I mean, I look both ways before I cross a one-way street, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yes, I'm not hunting today, I'm fishing, but I'm still wearing some orange. Late October and the water temperature is still 10 degrees Celsius. That, that's pretty crazy. That's like 50 Fahrenheit. So, might be a few more weeks before we start seeing some ice. I think I can hear a waterfall or some shoots up ahead. So naturally I'm gonna go check that out because flowing water and fish typically go hand in hand. So it's worth exploring. I made it to the far side of the lake, it's not very big, and found this really cute set of chutes, but no sign of fish here. I'm going to work my way back down the shoreline, but on the opposite shore, back to the landing. I only had two hits across the lake and I caught two fish right at the landing, so it's uh, possible, but 
that that's the good spot. But anyway, I'm going to continue exploring and see what happens. Fish on. Bass. Ooh. Little bass. Little guy. Very pretty in this lake though. Sean. Hey, hey. <laughs> Got a perch. Sorry about the uh, the bad angle, but as you can see, it's snowing, raining. The wind is pushing that right into the lens. There we go. Beautiful perch. Actually, uh, very cool looking perch. And I think that's edible size. I like perch, so I'm going to keep it. Oh, fish on. Oh. Another nice perch. Once again, get off the lens. Beauty. Whoa. There we go. I found some perch. I just caught a couple nice yellow perch right off these trees. They seem to be just off the edge of it. There's a beaver lodge right there. And I caught them on the bigger jig and a three inch gulp because I'm mainly targeting bass and walleye. So just for now, I switched to the eighth ounce and a two and a half inch jig. See if I could pop a couple more perch. If not, I'll keep exploring. Go fish on. I can't be a perch. Nope. Most definitely is not a perch. We have another walleye. <laughs> Another walleye. Another good eating size walleye. It's cold and it's snowing, but I'm having fun. I'll try to milk this, tough it out as long as I can because it's my last day in the yak. So I'm gonna take advantage while I can. Because pretty soon I'll be on the ice and it's going to be six months before I'm back in this thing. So far this is the best spot on the lake that I've found. I can hear some running water off in the corner over here. There's a small creek coming in. These trees at the edge of this beaver lodge provide a lot of shelter and I'm in about 12 feet of water. So far I've got two perch and a walleye right here and lost a couple other hits. Hey. Woo, back on the perch. <laughs> nope. 
Another little perch. That one looks like he's been chomped on. Maybe a walleye tried to get him. Huh. Cool. on. That's decent. That's decent. <laughs> I was wondering when I was going to catch one of these. Northern Pike. Four species today. Cool. Well, that's it. I'm gonna call it. We got some thick weather coming in. It's starting to snow again. The wind is picking up. Overall, it was a pretty, well, decent day, I guess. I wouldn't call it great fishing. Action wasn't the hottest, but multi-species, I got four different kinds of fish. Not a bad way to wrap up the kayak season for 2022. Another thing I'm wrapping up is, this is the 20th new body of water I fished and filmed this year. And if you're following along on my channel, you'll know that that was my new year's resolution goal to fish and film 20 new bodies of water. I did it. It's the middle of October and I fished 20 new bodies of water. That's unreal. And what's even better is I caught at least one fish in every single spot. The main reason I did that challenge is just to prove that you don't need to fish the same spots over and over it, it pays to explore, try new things. I was rewarded and I highly suggest you give it a shot. Anyway, I'm gonna go load up my kayak for the year, but that's okay. I'll get out shore fishing a couple, uh, couple times and I'll be getting my ice fishing gear ready because that season's coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, tight lines, we'll catch you next time. Oh, that's a fish. What? I was just about back at the landing. What do I have? Nice pike. <laughs> cool. Very cool. I get my hands wet for this guy. The net's not big enough for him. Go. Last fish of the year in the kayak. He's gone. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs>